subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Well, here you can see clearly Invest 93W making its way across the Western Pacific right now, marching towards the Philippines slowly with time. We'll be talking more about the implications for the Philippines here soon, but you can see it's 11.7 degrees north, 142.6 degrees east. It's currently an Invest with winds of 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour, and 1,004 millibars, moving west-northwest at 16 miles per hour or 26 kilometers per hour. No CDPS rating has been given at this time, as this is not expected to impact land anytime soon. It is likely to develop soon though, that's why we're making an update on it currently again. It is making its way towards the general direction of the Philippines. There is a little bit of a dilemma with the track of the storm. We'll talk about that when we get to model guidance. But as of now, this storm likely to develop a tropical cyclone formation alert in place from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. This thing's 174 miles from Dedido, 292 miles from San Jose, from Catabalagan, it's 1,200 miles from Davao, it's 1,211 miles, and from Quezon City, this is 1,468 miles away. There's no CDPS rating given for it at this time and there are no watches or warnings given for it at this time either as again this is a low pressure system it has not developed into a tropical cyclone yet but again we're expecting it to that's why we're making an update on it now as we take a look at the entirety of the basin you can see the joint typhoon warning centers map there invest 94w expected to head into the bay of bengal we're talking about 93w which is likely to form within the next 24 hours sab and atcf both have this at 25 miles per hour right now with the multi-platform scatterometer data from ram having this all the way up to 30. Regardless, here's the Tropical Cyclone Formation Alert from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center showing maximum winds at 20 to 25 knots as this moves west-northwestward at 14 knots. Guam's within that TCFA, but they're unlikely to receive any serious impacts other than heavy rainfall. Um, as for the Philippines and other areas, they're going to need to keep a close eye on this over the next few days. Regardless of that, this tropical cyclone formation alert indicates that this storm is likely to form within the next 24 hours and will likely be renewed if the storm doesn't form here in about three hours time. Well, here are sea surface temperatures, and those are looking very strong as per usual at this time of year, 28 to 29 degrees Celsius, very, very potent for the system right now. It's not going to be a problem for it at all. Very potent sea surface temperatures, more than enough for some particularly strong tropical action at this time of year. Here is the H Wharf's run of this. You can see the recurve north and away from the Philippines here as it's expected to strengthen up to a category four or five. And again, that recurve up to the north away from the Philippines according to the H Wharf as this dumps over 32 inches of rain in some spots. This is where the track dilemma comes in. You'll see it on the models here shortly. But first, let's talk about the intensity. You can see there's a general consensus that the intensity of this storm is going to go up with time over the next few days. We also can see that wind shear is expected to remain low until around December 3rd or 4th, so this definitely has time to continue its development. When it comes to the track dilemma, you can see there the recurvature north by the H wharf, but there's continued steady track to the west according to the GFS. That would lead it to heading into the Philippines. Sea surface temperatures and mid-level relative humidity also looking pretty good. So let's talk about this storm in general. Well, you can see it here on satellite. This will be looping as I talk about the track dilemma. So there's a little bit of a dilemma with this where it's either going to recurve to the north and not impact land or recurve and impact the Philippines directly. As of now, it's looked like the stronger solution for the past couple of days has been that this recurves away from land, which is good news. The bad news is that recently in the past few model runs, we've seen a big trend towards the Philippines. And unfortunately, that trend could continue. Basically, what does that mean for you, especially if you're in the Philippines? That means you need to continue to watch this storm over the next few days as we're not sure what's going to happen just yet.